Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. In the previous ones, I think we've covered most, if not all of the basics to allow you to build whatever NATN automation you can think of for either your personal use or for your business. If you're anything like me, you don't just want to play around building workflows just for fun. You actually want to put them to use or maybe even sell them and implement them for other businesses. In this video, I'm going to show you part of the system that got me my first B2B clients a couple of months ago. For getting my first clients, I used cold outbound emailing. Uh, it's still the highest ROI sales channel out there. I won't dive too deep into the benefits of cold outbound emailing, but you can either Google them yourself or you'll have to trust me on it for the day. One of the most important factors when it comes to cold emailing is personalization. Imagine you receive a very generic business email in your inbox, maybe not even you're using your first name, then being like, hello there, we can build you a better website, get in touch with us, do you have time next week? You would skip it. I would skip it. I can guarantee you, you would most likely skip it yourself. Now imagine that same email, just the opening line being something very specific, something you posted yourself on your company LinkedIn page uh, last week or maybe a month ago, being like, hey, congratulations on your expansion to the Dutch market. We can build websites that better fit your customers' needs. There would be a much higher possibility of you actually being intrigued reading that opening line. Uh, so opening the email and maybe even replying to them, being like, oh, wow, they have actually, actually, they've actually done their research into me or they've actually done their research into my company. Let's give these guys a chance. The system you see on screen does exactly what I've just been talking about. It scrapes their company LinkedIn profile, it extracts their posts, achievement, achievements, etc., and it crafts a very highly personalized uh, opener to an email called email. As always, before I get into how you can replicate this for yourself, I'll first show you a quick test run by clicking on test workflow. In the bottom right, we can see workflow executed successfully. Uh, let's see what the LLM came up with. Great work revamping 30 plus SaaS websites in just four years. Some pretty cool, highly personalized stuff actually. Now let's dive into the nitty gritty and let me show you how you can replicate this for yourself to get the same outcome. Before I get into explaining how to set this up in NA10, I'll first show you where I got the lead information from, which is my Airtable. Let's say you buy a large lead list on the internet or maybe scrape the leads yourself using a Apollo scraper or whichever software you prefer. And you put it into your CRM, it might look something like this. So you have their first name, their full name, email address, title, or the job they have for the company, the industry they're in, location they operate in, LinkedIn URL, etc., etc. For the example of today, I've simply copied the record ID and put it into the Airtable node. I'll show you how I've done that right now. So back in NATN, we go to the Airtable node. And as I just said, I've copied the record ID over here. If you're using webhooks to start your workflow, which I would highly recommend, by the way, the record ID would be a variable instead of a static one, which I'm using right now. In previous videos, I've shown how you how you can do this quite quick, quite easily. And also in the next notes, I'll highlight how you can just drag and drop from the input side to fill in the necessary fields. Then I simply click test step. Uh, and on the right side, we can see the exact same information that we just saw in our CRM. We see the first name of the lead, we see their company website, their LinkedIn URL, the location, and here we see the full name. Next, we want to retrieve their company LinkedIn profile because if businesses have anything to share or celebrate with their followers, this is their platform of choice. We do this by utilizing a HTTP node. As I was just talking about, in this case, we use a variable because as I just said, it can be that your lead would be a variable as you're not always researching the same lead. I just dragged the LinkedIn organization URL from the left side into the field because I already have the URL. Let's say you don't have a URL, a quick Google search or a quick, quick Boolean search would get you the same result. Uh, on the right side, you can see a very big HTML file, which is all the HTML it retrieved from the company LinkedIn profile. Uh, and the next step will parse all this HTML, filter it, and only output the text. I'll show you. So next up is the code note. You can pause the video and copy this code. I can promise you it's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of back and forth with ChatGPT because I've already done that for you. 
as input, we have used the HTML from the previous node. And as you can see on the right side, as I just promised, it has filtered all the HTML and only returned us the plain text, which makes it much easier for the next node, the ChatGPT node, to actually digest and analyze the information and give us whatever we ask it to output. In now that we're done with the boring stuff, let's get into the fun stuff, which of course involves AI. First, we clean the company name. You might think, oh, why do you have to do that? You already have the company name. Yes, of course, if you get a lead list or if you scrape your leads from the internet, you already most likely have the company name. The only thing is usually that company name includes their LLC or Inc. And real humans don't talk like that. We never refer to a company as Google LLC or generic company name. That's why we tell the AI to use all the input we just got from the filtered LinkedIn profile, search it and reason a decent, normally used company name, in this case, Beetle Beetle. In the next note, we ask ChatGPT to extract all the posts, achievements and success stories from the LinkedIn company profile. I've done that by with this simple prompt. I won't go over the prompt because well, as I can see, it is a personal preference. You can adjust this however you'd like. It's pretty straightforward. I would just copy and paste it if I were you and maybe make some adjustments whenever you see fit. Once again, the input is a variable. I took this input from the remove HTML return text node, which was this previous code node. Remove everything and drag it from the left, paste it here and highlight it in green. You can see it's correct. On the right side, let's go over the output quickly. It returned recent posts. It returned achievements and it probably returned everything else I asked it to do. I'm quite sure notable achievements, as you can see here. I also, as you can see, it mentions the timestamps. Timestamps are very important when talking about when crafting a relevant opener, because well, time is, of course, one of the factors that makes something actually relevant. And the more relevant your opener, the higher the chances are of them actually opening the email and of them replying to the email. Finally, I use a HTTP node. It's set to get, but it should be set to post to upload the personalized opener to a email software that I use. I personally use instantly, but you can use whatever one you prefer. It's all, it all works the same. And I update the record of the lead that we retrieved all the way back here with the new information of the clean company name. You can add maybe all the LinkedIn profile text or maybe only the posts and of course the personalization for future reference. Let's say the lead doesn't respond, maybe a few months down the line, you'd like to reach out again and you don't have to do the research all over again. You can just look at what you've already got and send them a quick email. I can promise that using this quick and easy system will get you better open rates and also much better response rates. This is the exact system that got me my first clients. Uh, so I hope it does the same for you. However, if you'd still like to outsource your sales department, that's definitely possible. I sell automated sales systems to companies, to B2B companies to be exact. Uh, and over the past couple of months, I've been generating tons of leads for my clients and they're more than satisfied, I can tell you that. If you're interested, there is a link in the description to book a quick 10 minute discovery call to see if I'm a fit for your company and if I can generate the same results for you. Lastly, as I already mentioned in a earlier video that I posted on my channel, I want to shift the focus of future videos more towards the practical side of automations because I think they're more beneficial to you and they're also more fun to make for me. Going forward, I will be focusing on building out automated sales systems on my channel so you can replicate them and get yourself your first clients or maybe build out your business. It will feature sales systems just like this one, but also much more elaborate, complicated ones. And of course, I'll keep you guys up to date with the latest and greatest ways to improve your own business processes. If you're excited for those kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe. If you stuck around all the way to this part of the video, I'd like you to please leave a like and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.